All right, that's James Brown singing Living in America. And I dedicate that song to Mr. Innocent Kalimanshi. So if, if there's anybody that knows him, I ask him to tune in because I got a thing or two to say to him. Now, I need you to tell me now, guys, if you can hear me, I need to, can you hear me? <laughs> fast, fast, I'm done. Yeah, but you need to tell me if you can hear this. Can you hear me? Are you, are you hearing this? Yes or no? Can you hear me? Yes or no? Clear. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Just a few minutes. Give me 10 minutes of your time. Here it is. You know, a few weeks, a few months ago, we kept on hearing about this man by the name of Innocent Kalimanshi. And every time we would see him, it was always linked to some type of breaking of the law or some type of abrogation. Abro abrogation of the law and he sort of presented himself as someone that was always in trouble and then something interesting happened you need to tell me if, if this is clear loud and clear wonderful something happened the media began to court him I first saw him on movie TV explaining his position and then a short time after that he sang a song and he called himself Ebenezer and then a short time after that he was on the cover of the mass newspaper a short time after that he was recording a video and he misspoke he said he said <laughs> he said a saka can never be a tent. Remember that? And then a short time after that, he came out with another quote. Omuntu kutiakulanga ivory, but kunu maleku aleku baitinga. In that moment, innocent Kalimanshi reinvented himself. And I want you to get this. This is very important. I want to teach you the power of social media and how if you are clever, you can use it to reinvent yourself and become a brand. Believe it or not, as we sit now, innocent Kalimanshi, love him or hate him, embrace him or despise him, Innocent Kalimanshi is now a brand in this nation. It shows you the, not only the power of social media, but here's the thing. Innocent has to recognize that he's a brand now and he has to realign himself. Because you know, sometimes in life you have to shift. When you see the times, you shift. You reposition yourself. Innocent has, has to make the decision now. Do I become a brand? Do I become a positive force in this nation? Or do I continue becoming uh, in, in people's minds? Do I continue becoming a criminal in people's minds? Or someone that disrespects the law? Or someone that, that feels that the law doesn't apply to him? Because prior to all these things I've mentioned to you, that is the perception everyone had of innocent. They thought that this guy is a criminal. He's, he, 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 he stands in the solitude of himself. He thinks that the law doesn't apply to him. He flouts the law. He does whatever he wants to do. But in the last several weeks, he has reinvented himself. And this is the advice I have for him. 
if you truly want to take this, step, uh, this a step further, realign yourself. Become a brand for positive change in this nation. When I say positive change, I'm saying you, you need to be a, people need to view you positively. When they see you on the street, let me tell you what innocent Kalumanshi can really, if he really wanted to, he can actually build a clothing brand. He can make money off of this new notoriety that he has created. Innocent Kalimanshi, not only has he reinvented himself, he has somehow endeared himself to the public. Now, when you have that combination, when you have a connection with the public, Number one. Number two, when you are endeared, when the public look at you positively, that's the opportunity. That's your chance to, to, to sit down and say, I want to make this commercial. I want to build a brand around this. If Innocent had the right people around him, I'm telling you, that guy within the next three to four years, he'll, he'll be making money. He can have a clothing brand. Not just a clothing brand for the sake of clothing brand. It has to be thought out very meticulously. Not Munguru. If he really wanted to. So my advice to innocent Kalumanshi is you have reinvented yourself. Take advantage of it. Find your niche. You know what a niche is? A niche, your, your, the place that you are most comfortable, the place that you are most productive. Find your niche and operate within that niche and you will be fine. Discard, throw off this perception that people have of you, that you are a lawless citizen. Throw that off, reinvent yourself. And I'm telling you, in the next few years, you will be a brand. I gave this same advice to the man that I referred to as the leprechaun. Do you know if the leprechaun was truly serious about life, do you know what that man could, could do? He could sell suits, high-end suits, all these clothing companies. These guys that make nice suits, they could have used that leprechaun to sell suits. Instead of getting on social media and creating stories about people and insulting people in exchange for money, he can make an honest living from selling suits. And when I say selling, I don't mean, you know, walking from door to door to door. I'm saying on media, on social media, using this platform to reinvent yourself to sell suits. He could, he could have done that, but he doesn't do that. He doesn't listen to anybody. But anyway, that was my advice to him. So, so lastly, before I go, innocent, do the right thing. I think at the core, you're a good guy. You've just been misled. My advice to you is reinvent yourself, brother, and make some money. Okay? That's what I wanted to say. Thanks for listening. Bye.